four days of education, innovation, networking, and much more. AUA 2025 has brought the very best of urology together for one incredible annual meeting. We're both solo practice urologists, so this is really important for us to find that to connect with our colleagues who are, you know, still doing academics and you know doing these trials. We find a lot of different industry and things that we can incorporate into our practice. So it's always a great meeting for us. To see the quality of publications, the quality of multi-center trials, you can't find that anywhere else in the world. The provisions for that are quite significant. That's why the whole world focuses on the AUA more than anything else. It's been a great week here in Las Vegas as urologists and urologic healthcare professionals came together to discover the latest research, refine best practices, and unite on a mission for better patient care. We started with the science as AUA plenary speakers presented some of the practice-changing, paradigm-shifting clinical trials results. When it comes to the butterfly implant, I think it's very exciting because we've got an implant where it's got vector forces that really spread lateral hypertrophy. So as a result, it opens up that prostatic channel. And what's really exciting is that this is a potential reversible therapy. Uh, so you don't lose anything when placing this implant. This patient population with metastatic CRPC in the chemo-naive setting is mostly in the hands of urologists. A lot of these patients reside in the urology practice, and this may be a future option for them. And went in-depth on some of the more challenging issues in urology. I think a lot of questions were how far can we push it? In other words, I told you about that low-grade cancer. Can we push it to higher grades? and start watching those because we might be over-treating those. Technology is providing new options for patients and improvements to clinical care and therapies. We caught up with some of the innovators in the science and technology hall. And what this does basically is it's like at a very advanced uh, flashlight and you locate the tumors and you press a foot switch and it basically coagulates or destroys the tumor instantly and then you can go home afterward as a patient and you don't have to go to the operating room. We wouldn't be here without our great resident programs. We checked out some of the great ways AUA is engaging residents and providing the support and training they need to thrive. Mexico is a part of South Central section, so I got the opportunity to compete in the residents both from our own section and we were the team winners. So it's been an amazing experience. It's my first time being here uh, at the AUA. Making an impact for patients is what it's all about. We heard how urologists can help some of the most impoverished communities at home and abroad. As they come out with uh, uh, awareness, you know, uh, awareness, prevent. prevention, and, and treatment. treatment. It is better to prevent rather than treat. And that was their motto. So an ordinary person can read and say, hey, I got the symptoms, let me go and see. And we got the patient's perspective from the patient advocates working alongside urologists for better patient care. We didn't talk about it. We didn't tell other, my friends didn't know about it. And I didn't know a single bladder extrophy patient um, until two years ago, actually. Well, we've had an amazing experience here in Vegas, and it's finally time to say goodbye. But our content will be available forever. If you want to find out more about any of the great research and activities we've covered here on AUA TV, just head to the playlist. There's so much there for you to watch. And now let's say goodbye to the sights and sounds of Las Vegas, and we'll see you next year in Washington, D.C. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.